life, determination, inspiration, courage, nystagmus. Can they all go in the same sentence? I mean, I just put in the same sentence, so I don't see why not. Why can't we do the things we want to do? I mean, it's our life, right? Mikey here, get ready to stagma. Hey guys, Mikey here from Walk Through Eagly Eyes, raising awareness on the eye condition of stagmus. Um, my apologies for not being there with you today. Um, I'm actually in Brisbane, Australia at the moment, so sit back, enjoy your meal, and I hope you enjoy this video. Now, I might be the least qualified person speaking today. You've had some great presentations from some amazing doctors, some inspirational people, and now you've got to listen to this guy, some guy who just walked. So why was I given the honor by the Stagmus Networks to talk to you guys today? Well, in December, I set off on my adventure across New Zealand, walking the full length of New Zealand from Bluff in the very bottom, all the way up to Cape Ranga in the north of the North Island. So I started the walk in mid-December, starting from Bluff in the South Island, walking pretty much through the middle, um, covering a fair few mountains, a fair few rivers, a fair few rainy days, um, a fair few smoke field days actually. Uh, arriving in Ship Cove in the beginning of February, Ferrying across to Wellington on the North Island uh, and then walking pretty much through the middle there. A lot of kayaking and biking included as well. Absolutely stunning views still. Uh, and then arriving in Cape Ranga in the middle of March. So the walk taken me just over three months. Uh, very, very happy to get it done in under 100 days. The total distance was covered was just over 3,200 kilometers. So that's over 2,000 miles. Staying in huts, tents, staying with some amazing trail angels along the way. So as rewarding as it was, it also had its challenges to say the least. Uh, having wet feet day after day definitely uh, definitely has an effect on you. Not to mention the, um, the being on your own for days on end. Um, can make you go a little bit loopy. Excuse me, mate. Just got a quick question. Um, why are you crossing the road? Huh. No? I don't think we're ever going to find out the answer then. Not to mention the fact that after I finished, I had to rush back from New Zealand to Australia to do my two weeks quarantine. But you know, such is life, eh? Not to forget the bushfires in Australia that actually managed to blow over to New Zealand. Just as you want to get a bit of fresh air, You'd expect a nice clear day on New Year's Day, not even slightly, just fog, smoky fog everywhere. But honestly, it was amazing. I met some amazing people, had some amazing views, and I actually got to finish it a little bit ahead of schedule. Okay, so um, just gonna go through a couple of questions that were raised on the website. So a bit of quick fire for you, keep up, keep up, keep up. Has your nystagmus improved or gotten worse over the years? Have things improved, and if so, what? I mean, I can't tell much difference in it. I've been told it's, I've been told it's getting progressively slightly better. Um, wearing my glasses supposedly helped more with that. I haven't really noticed a difference. What I would say is, as I've got older, my care factors just get on and do things. It's just gotten stronger and stronger. Qu a question I got asked quite a bit whilst I was on the walk was, um, why are you doing this walk if you can't see the views? Um, two things, I can see the views. They're just a lot blurrier and not as sharp. And the second thing, when you're at the top of a mountain, it's not just one sense you have. You don't just have your eyesight. You have the sound of silence. You have the feel of the air. There's, there's so many factors to being at the top of these mountains or next to these lakes than having the sharpest of views. So there's so much to take from it than just your eyesight. And I mean, when people are running marathons, they're not they're always taking in the view. It's a perseverance thing. It's a challenge. You've got to finish it. It's a mission. Did you underestimate the amount of food required for the walk and how did this affect you? <laughs> Yeah, I did. I wouldn't say I underestimated it. I just knew that I couldn't carry enough as much as I physically needed. So yeah, constantly being hungry. How did I, um, how did I deal with it? I stropped, like anyone else who's hungry would. Why didn't you drive the length of New Zealand? I can't drive, I have nystagmus. <laughs> and the whole point was to walk, to prove a point. So yeah, that's a, I mean, New Zealand is a beautiful drive, but yeah, no, I'm, I was walking it, it's a mission. Highlight question mark low point question mark highlight oh so many i mean finishing it definitely being one um getting to the top of one of the ranges at the tarus um just before last light and then as the sun set the full moon rose and seeing a silhouette of the mountains that was absolutely stunning low point uh the rain hunger constantly having wet feet so who was the most 
best awesome person you met on the walk? Well, I actually know who this question came from. And uh, Lisa, if you're watching this, obviously you. What is the one thing that you've learned about yourself during the walk that has helped you since you finished? Uh, my patience and my perseverance. <laughs> I think they both counteract each other sometimes, which might sound like a weird thing to say. Um, my patience can be a little bit shorter than I realized, but my perseverance to carry on through that um, definitely helped me to conquer it. So I suppose I feel now that if I've done this, then, then well, what's next? And that brings me nicely to my next question. Um, what is next for Walk for Wiggly Eyes? And that is a good question. There's definitely something in the lines. We're having to think about this. We're coming up some ideas, gonna see where COVID takes us, but there's definitely gonna be more. So um, watch this space. So why did I put myself through this? Walk for Wiggly Eyes is all about raising awareness for nystagmus. So my experience with nystagmus, having congenital nystagmus, I was born with it, so I've had it all my life. Um, I grew up going to school, um, hating wearing glasses, like most kids, um, having to deal with my head shaking. Um, I wouldn't say I got picked on any more than anyone else. So having congenital nystagmus means I was born with it. So I've had nystagmus all my life. Um, my vision is blurry at best. Um, I remember at school, I would always, because I couldn't read the whiteboard, um, even with my glasses, I used to have to copy the person next to me, not for their answers, just for what they were copying off the board themselves. Growing up in life, I've not been able to drive. Uh, it's not stopped me from trying, but yeah, I, I, I failed my, um, my test, the, the clearest fail you'll ever see. Um, I didn't even get to get in the car. I couldn't read the license plate. So unfortunately, I've not been able to drive, but I've tried not to let that hold me back. Um, I mean, the positive is the money I've saved from not being able to drive. Um, the inconvenience of not being able to drive is definitely a burden, but you've got to make the most out of it, what you can. I myself am actually guilty for this. Being diagnosed with nystagmus as an infant, um, I, I look, didn't look into it at all. I, I didn't even care. It wasn't until I was in my late 20s maybe I actually started to look into it. I just kind of got on with life because I just didn't want to be held back by this condition. And the second point for me wanting to do this was I wanted to prove to people that regardless of what condition you have, you can do whatever you set your mind to. Um, you know, whether it be walk the length of a country or complete any other fundraisers, um, you know, don't let this condition hold you back, whether it be nystagmus or anything else, you know, you can do whatever you, whatever you want to do. I first realized I wanted to inspire people just over three years ago when my nephew Archie was also born with nystagmus. And like any uncle, I didn't want him to feel like his nystagmus held him back. I wanted to inspire him to do whatever it was he wanted. And if I can do that for anyone else, then absolutely awesome. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out um, walkforwiggleyeyes.com for any future projects we have coming up. We appreciate all your feedback, all your comments, all your questions. Also, I want to say a big shout out and a big thank you to Nystagmus Network um, for giving me the opportunity to talk to you guys this evening, um, as well as all the support pre, post, and during the walk. It's been absolutely fantastic. Also, the work you guys are doing is just, it's changing lives, it's inspirational. So, thank you guys.